Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about geometric series, as shown here in the syllabus. And the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence. The two versions of the formula of the sum of n terms of a geometric sequence are given on page 3 of your formula booklet. A series is the sum of the terms of a sequence. So if we consider a sequence of terms, u1, u2, u3, and so on, then the corresponding series is formed by placing plus signs between these terms. And the sum of the first n terms is denoted with the symbol Sn. In the example shown here, S1 represents the sum of the first term, so it's equal to 3. S2 represents the sum of the first two terms, so it's equal to 9. S3 represents the sum of the first three terms, which is equal to 21. And S4, the sum of the first four terms, which is equal to 45. The formula for the sum of a geometric sequence is stated here. And it states that Sn is equal to u1 multiplied by r to the power of n, subtract 1, or divided by r, take away 1, as shown. Where u1 is the first term in the sequence, r is the common ratio in the sequence, and n, the number of terms we're trying to find the sum of. So in the example shown here, to find the sum of these first four terms, we identify that the first term, u1, is 3, that the common ratio, r, is 2, because we're multiplying by 2 each time, and n is 4, because we're trying to find the sum of these four terms. So if we substitute into the equation 3 for u1, 2 for r, and 4 for n, and perform the calculation, we get 45. The same answer we had before. Now I suggest you use this version of the formula when the common ratio r is bigger than 1. And then r take away 1, the denominator, will always be a positive number, as shown in the example. Okay. 2 take away 1 is 1, a positive number. The other version of the formula given in your formula book booklet basically just switches around the order on the top and the order on the bottom. And it's best used when the common ratio is less than 1. However, either version will work as long as we perform the calculation correctly. Again in the example shown, if we use this version of the formula, you see the order has been swapped on the top and the order has been swapped on the bottom, but if you perform the calculation, again you'll see that the sum of the first four terms is still 45. In this question, we're given a geometric sequence and we're asked to find the sum of the first eight terms. So if we start by writing down what we know, that the first term is 16, so u1 is 16, the common ratio is negative 0.5, so r equals negative 0.5, and we have to find the sum of the first eight terms, <clears throat> so n will be 8. Then if we write down the formula for Sn, as given in your formula booklet, and substitute the values into the formula. So replacing u1 with 16, r with negative 0.5, and n with 8, as shown. And if we type it into our calculator, 
by selecting uh, Run Matrix menu, that's option one. And I'll press the fraction button to set up a fraction. 16 multiplied by bracket one minus, and then another bracket to put R in as it's negative, negative 0 0.5, close that bracket around R, and raise to the power of eight. Use the right cursor to come down, and then the down cursor to get to the bottom. And then we can also put a bracket around the bottom calculation. One, take away, again, putting the bracket around R as it's negative 0 0.5, and close that bracket and close the other bracket. And press in execute. Oh, I think I've got a bracket missing from the top. Sorry, there. Need to close the bracket on the top and then press execute. So we get a value of 10.625. So the sum of the first eight terms is 10.625. And since this is a fairly small number of terms, we could list the terms out to verify our answer, as shown below. In this question, we're told that the sum of the geometric sequence is 635, we have to work backwards to find out how many terms there were. So again, if we start by stating what we know, that the first term, u1, will be 5, and the common ratio, r, will be 2, and sn, the sum of the first n terms, will be 635. And then if we write down the formula for the sum of n terms, this time I'm using the first version since r is bigger than 1, but either version will work. And substitute the values into the equation. So replacing u1 with 5 and r with 2, as shown. So to find n, the number of terms, we use the fact that the sum, we're told, was 635 to write an equation by equating Sn to 635. Solving this equation will give n, and we can use solver on the calculator to find n. From the main menu, if we select equation, and then press F3, the solver, F2 to delete any previous equation, and F1 to confirm the deletion. We're then ready to type in our equation. So if we start by typing 635, and then shift to get to the equals, and then a fraction button, and then we can do the numerator, so 5 multiplied by bracket, 2 to the power of, we use x for the variable over here. And then right cursor to come down again. And take away 1. Close the bracket and the down cursor. And on the bottom, we can put it in a bracket to take away 1. Close the bracket. And then press execute to enter the equation. Just to note that the number next to x is not the solution to our equation, as we haven't pressed solve yet. So if you press F6 to solve the equation, we will see that x, or n in our case, is equal to 7. So the sequence has 7 terms. And again, as it's a small number of terms, we could list them out to verify our answer, as shown. In this final question, we're told that Kenzo's school fees increase by 2% each year, and we're asked to calculate the school fees that he pays 
in his final year. So if we start by identifying a multiplying factor, 100% increased by 2% is 102% and as a decimal that's 1.02. So in his first year we're told the fees are 2,500,000 Japanese yen. So in the second year, multiplying that value by 1.02 gives an amount of 2,550,000 yen. And for the third year, multiplying that value by 1.02 gives an amount of 2,601,000 yen. So we can see that this is a geometric sequence with the first term u1 of 2,500,000 and a common ratio of 1.02. Now if we use the formula for the nth term as given in your formula booklet, replacing u1 with 2,500,000 and R with 1.02. So for his final year, if we replace N with 6 to get the required amount. So in his final year, Kenzo's school fees are 2,760,202 yen. In part B, we're asked to calculate the total fees paid for the six years at the school, which is the sum of each of the six years' fees. So if you write down our formula for SN, replacing U1 with 2,500,000, R with 1.02, and N with 6. Evaluating the calculation gives the required total. So the total fees paid by Kenzo over those six years is 15,770,302 yen.